We're ready to set the maxi bolt. To do this, we will use the setting tool. The setting tool handle and a one and five eighths inch wrench that fits the hex nut of the setting tool. Notice that the indicator pin of the setting tool must be at the bottom of the slot when starting. Remove the hex nut and flat washer from the anchor bolt. Notice on the anchor end of the setting tool there is a 1 16th inch offset surrounding the bolt bushing. Thread the anchor stud into the bottom of the setting tool. Stop when the distance tube is in firm contact with the offset of the bolt bushing. Place the bolt into the cleaned undercut hole. Install the setting tool handle. Grasping the handle with one hand, turn the hex nut of the setting tool in a clockwise direction using a 1 and 5 8 inch wrench. You will notice what appears to be a slip when the setting operation first begins. This is normal due to the conical nut being drawn up into the expansion sleeve and the expansion sleeve expanding out into the conically undercut hole. Continue turning the hex nut until the indicator pin is within six, 3 sixteenths of an inch of the top of the slot and the torque required to turn the nut has increased considerably. The anchor is now set. While holding the handle of the setting tool with one hand, loosen the hex nut using the wrench. Remove the setting tool by rotating it in a counterclockwise direction. After removing the setter from the anchor, ensure the distance sleeve of the anchor is at or below the surface of the concrete. The 1 16th offset on the setting tool helps to accomplish this. Again, clean the surface where the attachment will be installed. Place the attachment on the anchor bolt. Install the bolt's flat washer and hex nut. Now torque the anchor bolt down to the required value. The installation of the maxi bolt is now complete.